Here we go. Hello, wonderful Dory. Hello, wonderful Cassie. Welcome everybody to She Shed and She Said Crafting. I'm Cassie from Craftsy Essentials. And I'm Dory from Snowisms. And this is our crafting podcast where we discover everything and anything about crafting. We're not experts, not even remotely, but we love crafting and all crafts and it's better to have a craft buddy and Cassie is my craft buddy yes we definitely yeah. seem to be able to get more accomplished while we're crafting with somebody than having to craft by yourself this is true so we figured you know if someone was alone and needed some help or some inspiration crafting we'd be the best people to do it yeah come join us come join us all right. Woohoo. I'm excited. So um, you're going to be doing something today that's making me spend more money on craft supplies. Yes. What's our What's yes. our project today? So today we are doing, we're going to call it beads and blanks. So for a very long time, I wanted to get into beads. I found somebody on TikTok and I was just like, oh my goodness, these beads are gorgeous. And then they're just kind of everywhere on social media, the beads for right. um, right. keychains and all that kind of stuff. So these beads, they're pretty expensive. I mean, they are definitely worth it, but, but. Lori and I went have these. So that made it a little more affordable. So they're just a little bubble gum beads and she is called um, My Pretty Posh Princess. Found her on TikTok and she had this big bundle that came with all the different styles she has, all the colors. So that way we could kind of practice and see which ones we liked. So we're like, oh, we definitely need to order more of those or we definitely don't like those, don't get those. So that was really awesome. So we're gonna do that. And we got really into acrylic blanks um, to make keychains. So this is just one that I have, um, but I just have like, so today is round two, but so then I just have these acrylic blanks that I found on Amazon and then the glitter and then UV resin. If you guys haven't tried UV resin, it is the bomb. Little Leanne Rose, the best UV resin I've tried. Glitter, this one right here is a glitter named Bo. I can't really get the sparkle because of the lighting and everything, but their glitters, their product is one of my favorites. So, so Bo is my main today. man, though. Bo, Bo is Bo, my main man. He is your main man. Yes. Yes, he is. All right. Um, so, My Pretty Posh Princess for the beads. Little Lee and Rose for the glitter and the UV resin. And then I found my string for the beads at Hobby Lobby, but you got yours at Amazon, right? I or did. Amazon? I got mine mine at Amazon and you said to get the stretchy. Yep. So it's yep. like it's like super bouncy super, stretchy. Yeah. Like, so we don't have to worry about it breaking on our keychain. So that's really nice. Like um, like our tree. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Sorry. It's 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 and really then strange. I have um, Dory is, we call her the mold queen. And so she's kind of inspired me to do a bunch of molds. So I have a bunch of, I have some molds that are like little pendants. So I have a bunch of those I'm going to turn into keychains. I've got my molds here. Got my little turtle. Got a couple of pendants. Yes. And I got my blanks. Oh, 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 number one thing to do. What does Dory always forget to do when you started me on the these plastic. blanks? take off the plastic okay just making sure all right see what's yeah. nice about mine is it has brown paper on it oh that's so, so i can't cool. forget mine 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 has just like a clear and yeah you know. mine's got that brown paper so that's nice i never forget right on okay well, i, I think... got my beads yep we've got our hardware so we have our little keychain hooks 
and any charms that you have to finish your keychains. I am, I have one of the, I don't remember what kind of clips these are called, but I have the like little clippies that I want to try one with that just to see how it kind of turns out. Right. But yeah, we're just gonna, and then pliers of choice. I personally really like the longer ones, but whatever you have works. Yep. Okay. All I right, got whatever so, came in the kit. You said get the kit. I got the kit. Yep. It came from Amazon. We, it just showed up. We are definitely black, bad influences on each other. Yeah, I spend a lot more money on craft supplies hanging out with you. This is true. But crafting is more, you know, everything, right? Like it's it's an addiction. Yeah. It's um yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a good addiction because some people, are, you know, I mean their addictions aren't so healthy, but Exactly. It's not hurting anybody. No nope. extra glitter sparkle all the things. Yep. All right. I'm all right. ready to get started. Are we ready? I think so. I think I've got everything. I think I think. All right. Show me, show me how this has kind of good angle. Okay. Okay. So first we're gonna take our little stretchy string. And we want it at 16 inches. Oh, look at look at you having a ruler and all sorts of nice stuff. I'm gonna eyeball it because I know that my um, oops my little silicone mat thingy here is about yeah. So we'll just we'll but just you're eyeball also it. Okay. Like a sewer and a crocheter, so you could probably see 16 inches and be like, oh yeah, that's totally 16 inches. Oh, absolutely. Okay, so I got my wow. So we're going to fold it in half. Okay. And then we're going to take the the loose side. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's just going to be the easiest and stick it in your blank. <laughs> that was naughty. And then you're going to fold it through. I think I'm going to do I think I'm going to do the pink one. I want to do pink. Okay, go ahead. All right. I'm so sticking then it, it through. Kind of makes like a little loop. And then you're going to pick your beads. I think with this one, I'm going to do a copper sparkly one. Do I tie a knot right there or anything? Nope. 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 Just leave it? Okay. All right. Yep. Okay. So I got the pink ones. And then this bundle that we found was seriously probably the best investment just because it comes with everything so we can try literally all the styles of beads to see which ones we like. Ooh, look at this one. I like this one. I think I'm going to do that little sparkly sparkly. Yeah. And I don't know. Got a little nice mauve one. Maybe another mauve one. I definitely need to get better storage for these. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Since they just kind of came, uh, they're still in bags. I was thinking about getting one of those bead things for it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so you, you can like look at all the pretties instead of having them in baggies. Yeah. And these bags are kind of a pain. That's okay. We'll get it. We'll get it. All right. I got my beads. All right. Sorry. I should have picked out beads before, but... I got my beads. Okie dokie. So I'm going to stick this in there, I guess. Yep. Oh, that one doesn't have a... Dang it. That one didn't have a hole. I guess because it's a multi-pack, some, some of them will be like that. But Yeah, imperfections in manufacturing. No big deal. I don't think it could... It's not a wash, though, right? Like, you could still use it for something. Oh, yeah. I'm sure... I did um, a video that I found on how to make these said she got a bead reamer or something like that to kind of help clear out the inside of the beads. Right on. So that might be something that I look into for the beads. Oh, if with that's what I'm thinking about, if that's what I'm thinking about, that's something that... Um, the people, the ladies who make the rose beads out of rose petals, I think they use oh. something similar like that. Oh, 
yeah, so we might, I might have to look into something like that. Okay, then we take our hardware. All right, hardware, hardware, okay. Uh, this one I think I'm going to do a keychain out of. I've got hardware. I've got hardware everywhere. I changed my mind. Hold on. Pretty tassel, pretty tassel. All right, I've got hardware. Okay, so now we're going to take our stretchy string and go through your hardware. Now, I did leave on mine the little hoop here just because that way when you give it to your customer, they can um, put it on their keys. Okay. Because I was thinking of just adding it directly to this. But then I was like, well, then they're not going to be able to put their keys on it. Right on. Um, okay. okay, I think I got it. All right, so, so just straight in. Then okay, like got it. that. So now we're going to take these ends and we are going to go back through the first two beads. First two. All right. Now this part might be a little more tricky since you're going back through it. And then you want to kind of pull it a little bit tight, but you want to pull it tighter after you get through the second one. Okay. Okay. So then you're like this and then you pull it super tight. So that way it makes it really taut. All right. Let's see. I think I got one. End. Okay. All right. I got one end out. Uh, let's see. Maybe this one. That's not going through just yet. Oh, it's just a little like stubborn, I think. It's just saying, hey, don't. Hey. Hey, look at me. All right, all right, all right. All right, making, so you want to make sure progress. super duper tight. Okay. Oh, you still got one more. I got one more. Yeah, I'm I'm slower than you are. You're you, that's okay. You're the you're the good one when it comes to beating. Oh, Stop it. <laughs> okay, I got, I got, I got both. Okay, so now pull it so it's super duper tight. All right, pulling it tight. Okay. Now, okay, okay. You're going to take it. your two fingers and then you're going to wrap the string around it and then okay. make like a little Just... knot. There's... All right. And then you're going to pull this super duper tight. So that Ow. way the knot gets small enough so it will hide inside the other beads. So like, uh, uh, then, okay. All right. All right. I got my knot. You're going to go the opposite way around your fingers and tie another knot. I don't know if that was the opposite way. So like we've got like clockwise and windershins. I'm not sure which one I just did, but all right. All right. Okay. Okay. That's all right. I got just it. Two knots. I got another knot. I got another knot. And then Ooh. one more time the other way. And one the more time way. the Okay. All right. I think I got it. All right. Okay. Now, super tight. Yeah. If I did notice that if you tie the knots tight enough, they kind of just fit right inside the bead. So they're not even noticeable. Okay. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors. And we're going to cut this string pretty short. I mean, you want it long enough because what we're going to do is we're going to take these loose ends and put it in the bottom bead so that way you don't see it. So you want it long enough to fit in the other beads, but you don't want it too long that it fits all the way through. Did that make sense? Uh, that makes sense. Okay. Okay, I think so. I think so. Well, I don't know. I've got fat fingers, so maybe maybe I should just put it in there and then cut it maybe. Whatever works for you cray cray then, when it comes to okay uh, this 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 takes patience how are you done so fast man i don't know but that right. one's not super duper cute that definitely needs like a little saying or something on it right on like the little, the little oh that is one. cute okay so yeah, mine's not going through the bottom hole that would be cute We'll, we'll get it figured out here. I think I got it. 
I'm still struggling. The pink you is not going to story. defeat me. I, you got this. Got this. I got this. I can do this. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. You got I it. Don't. You can do it. All right. I'm going to give up. I'm going to uh, just give it a nice little trim. <laughs> You're like, just do it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to try one more time. You can do it. Maybe, it's baby. It's definitely because of how tight we have to pull it so it makes it taut. It makes it a little bit harder to get it in the in the bottom the last bead. All right. Done. And now Ooh. we attach we attach fun stuff now. Yep. Now you can add whatever charms or tassels or whatever. I have some super cute palms that I think would look cute on there. Right, and this is where we use our jump rings. Yes, jump rings. Look at these. I didn't cute even know. Palms. It's like a dark purple. Oh, that's pretty. I didn't even know what jump jump rings were until I met you. There's a lot of things that we didn't know existed until we met each other, and now we this are poorer for the fact. We are much poorer for the fact. Amen to that. I agree with but that. That's okay. That is okay. Is yeah. kind of like it's therapy. Cheap. This cheaper therapy. therapy. I'm not sure it's cheaper, my friend. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's much wishful, that was thinking. Fun. wishful thinking okay so i know i want to put the tassel on it but i um i got those things from amazon the little charmies yeah so i think i think i want to put a little charmy on it too. so let's let's find a little charm um i might not i think i want to put a charm and a tassel on this one too i feel like maybe that palm doesn't match the colors Ah, uh, that one's cute. This one is a little heart, says made with love, and a little butterfly, and a little elephant, and Eiffel Tower. These are so adorable. All right, I think we're going to go with the butterfly, because it's pink. All right. So then, in in with my, oops, got to make sure it's the right way, though. Okay, so in with my charm. Okay little tassel I think I'm gonna do blessed and close her up okay this one's not it's not behaving come on you you want to close properly Yes, you do. Nice and tight. There we go. Give it a little more squeeze. A little more squeeze. It's like, is that a hug? It is a hug for a chain. <laughs> hug for a keychain. Okay, yay, I did it. Woohoo! Perfect. Beautiful. That's, I'm like off camera. Sorry, my bad. There we go. Whoa, that's lovely. All right. So we get to move on. We get to do a couple more. Yep. Okay, I think I really want there we go. this turtle charm. Did you get yours done? Nice. Beautiful. I love it. So I'm going to make sure my, my thing is open. There we go. Open, open. All right. Okay, moving on to number two. So, hey, Miss Cassie, since this is our very first podcast and people probably don't know who we are or what we are or any kind of yeah. craziness, shenanigans in between, how in, in the world did you start crafting? So, I feel like crafting has always been a little bit a part of my life. My grandma was super creative. She was a crocheter. She sewed. She painted ceramics she kind of did a little bit of everything so I feel like it's always kind of been a little bit in there um but about two years ago I purchased a Cricut and it kind of just snowballed from there um 
once you get a Cricut, it kind of just sucks you in. So I started with like just the vinyl work and um, making signs and shirts and all that kind of fun stuff. And then one day I kind of, I saw a YouTube video and it was cups and then that just spiraled into molds and charms and so that was actually uh, my first cup actually was two years ago just a couple days ago so I mean I'm definitely poor for the fact from finding this hobby but I don't honestly think I would change it I mean I've met some pretty awesome people doing this and I love it. How about you? How did you find crafting? How did I find crafting? Um, I don't know. I, I think for me too, it's always been a part of my life. Um, when I was seven, my grandma, my grandma taught me how to crochet. And then um, after that, she taught me how to sew and my mom was a sewer. And then um, after that, it just kind of spiraled, you know? Um, yeah, it, it, it does. It, it really does. And then one thing that uh, my husband's father, God rest him, used to say was, I have more time than money, so I'd rather just make it myself. <laughs> <laughs> and that's so true. Like, that is absolutely the truth. I would just rather make it myself, you know? And then... Yeah. You, you get a lot more pride from making it yourself too. So absolutely. I agree and with that 100%. Love that. So I don't know. It just started spiraling all, all out of control at that point. But then um, one of my good friends decided she wanted to start a um, craft supply tumbler company. And I had never worked with resin or gotten, you know, really wasn't much into glitter except for like the kids projects or something like mm -hmm. that and didn't you know wasn't wasn't really all into that and she introduced me to the wonderful world of resin craft and and molds <laughs> which I is now my when I first met you you were like I am not no I'm just here I to am... help I don't want to be right. any part of it I remember yeah, no, I, I was like, I'm just here to help. I'm not here to do any of it. Thank you very much. And then, oh, messed that up. That's all right. I can and fix it. And now look where we are. And now look where we are. I know that's, it's been quite a journey. Um, a little bit of an expensive one. I will, will, uh, yes, I will admit. Especially yes. all the new ones we find. Right. We just found the clay and then the beads and... Absolutely. The new techniques are all super exciting though. You know, it's like, yes. it's like, Ooh, I can do that. I bet you I could do that. And absolutely. Um, and especially when you have like how we have each other, like we're always like, I really want to try this. Let's try it. And we're like, all right, let's do this. Let's try it. Let's try so it. That's yeah. kind of what this whole thing is about. So if you ever are curious about something, definitely let us know. We have a Facebook page. Um, we'll make sure to link all of that information, but we definitely want to make sure that we kind of just keep up on all the fun stuff. We are so into learning all of the new techniques and stuff. We want to make sure that we're doing stuff that you guys want to see. Yeah, and it's always nice to have someone to hang out with and craft with. Okay, Absolutely. this one's giving me trouble, Cass. This one's giving uh -oh. me... Okay, there we go. I think I got it. I think I got it. Pull tight. It, it It's saying you don't love me, Dory. That's what that's what this one is saying. It's saying you're, you're making a hot mess. I, I don't know. Uh -oh. I'm going to add an extra knot in there. Maybe that'll make it doing what it's supposed to. I don't know. But I think they're going to turn out pretty. I'm excited. I'm excited to see I how it turns out. I am super addicted to these beads. We may they are so pretty. Invest in some more. Look at this one. Look how shiny that glitter is. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. 
That yeah. is absolutely gorgeous. Do I have that glitter? If I don't, I need it. You, I You're, don't you, think you do. What? How is there glitter I do not have? Like, <laughs> when you really think about it, how much glitter we have. Um, oh, yeah. I was, I was trying to count it, and it's not exactly countable because. Yeah, I'm not. I would feel guilty if I counted my glitter. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, yes. I, I was trying to, um, to, I was trying to put it all together into shaker jars to make it easier to use. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of a mistake. I probably shouldn't have done that because it makes you feel bad about yourself as a person. Yeah. You know, once you see it, not in bags. Right. Right. And then I can always say, oh, I've got my stash. My stash is great. You know, I know where my stash yeah. is. Um, but then when you take the stash out and you try to make it into uh, a functioning workspace, yeah. Yep. Yep. That then then it then it, you kinda of have a little trouble. It comes to, becomes problematic, you know? Yep. Oops, I think I got it. Did I get it? Oh no, I missed it. You know me and jump rings. We have we have some issues. They are quite small. And especially when you're building one. So I'm building one to put this little love saying onto my turtle. Um, I wish I had one that said um, Aloha or uh, Mahano. Oh, that, that would have been nice. Yeah. What if but you I make don't. like a decal and put it on the turtle? That's true. Um, so the one that I chose says live your dreams. Even if I did oh, use my Cricut to make a, make a, um, a decal for him, it would still be lovely to say aloha. Yes. Hello. Hello, hello. Aw, I love that. That was probably some of the, like, the best time of our, my family's life when we went on, um, 10 day vacation in Hawaii and all the kids went and Ooh, really, really nice. That sounds fun. Way before COVID. Yeah. Took over everything. Yeah. So, um, I know in my area we have, we have, uh, meetups for crafters, but since COVID yeah. started, we, we don't anymore, you know? Yeah. Yes, because we can't we can't do that. But is there anything like that in your area where you guys meet up at restaurants and hang out and crafting? Um, I don't really have very many crafting um friends. Like I have a few that dabble a little bit, but nothing like you and I. So n not that I'm aware of, anyways. That sounds super fun. You know, right? Have like a little scent. We don't have we don't have like a center for crafting that I know of. Um, we have plenty mm -hmm. of studios where um, professional artists work, but we don't have like a center for crafting that's not uh, child related. So um, we would just go to restaurants or uh, Starbucks. Um, mm -hmm. Panera was one we would go to. We would just kind of mm -hmm. hang out and hide from our families. <laughs> and Heck um, yeah. this, this was my knitting, my knitting and crochet group. And we would just spend like three hours hanging out. You know, it was nice. Yeah. I miss it. I miss that. But well, time I have definitely you. flies when you're crafting. Oh no! Oh shoot! Uh oh! Beat down! Beat down! Beat down! What even? I don't even know what happened there. Did it just go, just go crazy? Like later, later, Bader? I don't know if it broke or. It just like flung right off there. Did it just say, you know what? I'm out. It's like, <laughs> I'm out. I'm out, lady. I'm out, crazy lady. Okay. Aw, this is going to be adorable on a backpack. Oh, that is so cute. That's perfect. Those I colors tried to, match so well. Well, I tried to ombre the beads like uh, yeah. my turtle, my little turtle yeah. guy. No, that looks really yeah. good. 
I like him. He's so sweet. Okay. He like turned out him. good. I guess because I live by the ocean, I have tons of ocean themed things. Yeah. Lots of lots of beach scenes, lots of turtles, lots of ocean waves, all sorts Man, of can't go crazy, wrong with the beach. Crazy ocean stuff. I know. I know. It's one of the best places in the world, I but you know, I'm from um, Illinois and it's really cold where I'm from. Uh, Peoria, Illinois. It's uh, super duper cold there and not my favorite place in the whole wide world. So see, I'm, I'm a cold girl. I'm in Washington and I definitely prefer the cold to the heat. Yeah, no. <laughs> like, yeah, no, no, thanks. I don't think I could do it. How much progress are you making over there, my dear? I am, well, since I've caught the flyaway bead, I am getting there. You know what's you your flyaway you were... bead? Oh, go ahead. No, you go ahead. I was going to say, you know what your flyaway bead reminded me of? Huh? That scene in Pretty Woman where um, Julia Roberts loses her, her um, I think it's, a, it's either an oyster or a clam, and it goes flying across the restaurant oh, and yes. then maitre d'. <laughs> yes, that's, that's what losing your uh, your bead reminded me of. Well, it was actually um, the the shade of a, a pearl, so that's actually pretty funny that you say that. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of awesome. All right for this one, I'm gonna try something different, and I'm gonna put the charm. Want to see how the charm looks on the oh. drink? I don't like it. Yeah, I feel like it would probably stick out a little bit. Yeah, I don't like it. Nope, I can't do that. Okay, we're gonna move on to back to this way. Because even though this is kind of an ocean teardrop kind of looking thing, it reminds me of the moon. Yes. Oh, that one's so pretty. Right? That's our boys there, isn't it? It. This is our boys. This is um, Bo and Curtis with some alcohol ink. In a nice lovely whoop. Okay. Whoops. You didn't see that. Keychain nope, down. Keychain down. Yeah, it was it was bad. It went running running away. I wish there was an easier way to slip this um string in through these beads. I think that's my only deterrent at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know I'm like <laughs> Super, my old lady eyes. Yes, this is true. Um, I am an old lady. I have the years to prove it. Well, oh, this bead is being stubborn. Is it? I'm sorry. You want me to come talk to it? I could give it my best mommy voice and like mommy look. Like, hey, what's going on, bead? Yeah, bead. So, Miss Dory, what is your favorite craft? My favorite craft. Oh, man, there's so many. That's kind of hard. There but really is, yeah. Yeah. Um, my favorite craft would probably have to be my long-standing love yarn. So, crochet yeah. would be crochet would be my my number one go to. I mean, if like, if the world ended today and I could only do one craft for the rest of my life, it would probably be crochet. Um, I do love crocheting. Crocheting is pretty relaxing. Yeah. Um, it, it's kind of like all the other crafts where you have way too much. Did I ever tell you the couch story? Um, I believe I, you made a TikTok about it. I oh, did make a TikTok about it. Let me share the story, the real full story. So, yes. um, all right. So I had just joined the Crochet Guild and we had different projects going on. And um, I went to a yarn conference, which I shouldn't have done. And I spent a lot of money on yarn. My husband told me, he's like, you can absolutely not buy any more yarn until you 
you know, use up what you have or finish using what you have. Now, first of all, if you're not a crafter, that's just not a statement you say to a crafter. You just never tell mm-hmm. them that they, yeah, yeah, that, you know, they have to not buy craft supplies until they use up what they have. So anyway, yeah. so yeah. he was serious about it. So um, whenever I went on what we called yarn crawls, um, to different yarn, uh, crawls. yarn crawls. So you go to these eclectic and really cool yarn shops in different areas of your state. And the ladies, we would just get in the car and have lunch and then go look at all these really cool fiber stores. And um, so I would buy yarn. And, I, you know, my husband was like, you can't have it. You can't, you can't buy any more yarn. So we had this couch and it was kind of old and a little bit lumpy. So started filling the cushions with the <laughs> yarn that I was buying, you know, so like I would hide it. And then when he, when he left for work or whatever, and I was alone or something, I would, um, I would put the yarn in these cushions. And so he was like, one day he says, you know, I, this couch is awful. I really hate this couch. Now I want, I want to get a new couch. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not going to buy a new couch because my husband does not like to spend money on things. So yeah. I, I didn't give it another thought. So he calls me up and he's like, Hey, um, what time are you going to be home from work? Because I bought a new couch and, uh, when they come deliver the new one, they are going to, <laughs> they're going to take the, the old one away. And I was like, um, they cannot take my couch. And he's like, the couch sucks. It's horrible. They're going to take the couch away. And so I rushed home. Like I literally rushed home to make a home before the delivery people were going to be home, you know, at my house because, um, I had stuffed all that yarn in the couch and he was just going to have it thrown away. And so there was me, I know, right. There was me pulling all the yarn out of it. He could not believe it. He was so like flabbergasted and still also like amazed at how, you know, Um, your uh, craft hiding techniques. Yeah. So, I mean, this went on for months. Like I literally filled two sides of a lounge couch with yarn. Oh my goodness. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. That. Yeah. So yeah, that's, definitely yarn. That, that's that's a story. <laughs> that's pretty hilarious. Yeah. It's, it's also nostalgic because, um, you know, my, my grandma was such a big part of my life and, you know, for her to teach me how to crochet, it's kind of a nod to her. I always feel mm-hmm. good when I'm crocheting. I remember her. It's nice. Yeah. Crocheting is definitely very relaxing. So if you had one craft that you could do, like say there was a zombie apocalypse or something, because you know I'm all about the zombie apocalypse. Mm-hmm. Which craft would it be? It's so hard to choose. As much as I love resin work and like making all these molds and that kind of thing, I think my go-to would probably be um, rolled paper flowers. And I know that sounds funny, but it is seriously one of the most relaxing. That was one of my major crafts. I have a ton of craft paper because of it. But you just sit there, put on your favorite TV. Now I know under the zombie apocalypse, you wouldn't be able to watch TV. But (laughs) yeah, um, no, no zombie apocalypse. It's just so incredibly relaxing. So the Cricut just cuts out a template. It like is a curved thing. I don't, I should have grabbed some, but, um, and then you just sit there with what's called a quilling tool and you just slowly roll this paper to that's just flat and it turns into this really cute, um, flower. And I've made a ton of shadow boxes and, um signs with them and it's just so relaxing it was one of my first major crafts that i did and i it's it's a lot of fun well i'm not so sure because you said cricket and you know cricket is not my favorite person right now um having some having some cricket issues yes what is it with their software? They make this most amazing machine and then their software is so stinky pots. It is yeah, ridiculous. It is I don't know. 
Okay. I'll definitely have to show you one day because those those are definitely my my one of my favorite crafts. Right on. I think I'm coming to the end of my. Uh, yep, this was my last one. This is my last um, mold pendant. So I think All I'm right. ready to start start my blanks. Yes, like show that. how wonderful that UV resin is. I love the UV resin. Okay, this one's done too now. Ooh, yes, pretty. Love it. Love you. Love you to the moon. Wow, holy snakes. I'm just like getting it done. I move all my stuff out of the way here so I don't get anything contaminated. Um. I'm gonna do something Valentine y Yeah. Yeah. And maybe add some rhinestones to it because you know I love my rhinestones. Yes, you are into the rhinestones right now. I'm totally into the rhinestones. I've There's got some one. bow here. Look how sparkly this glitter is. That is so sparkly. I'm about ready to use him, of course, bow. Yes. I think I've got rigs over here too. I've got a little rigs. He's nice and pink. Um, Maddox is pinker though, like a little light pink. Maybe that one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So many options. So, so many options. I'm digging it though. Um, you've got me addicted to another craft, it looks like. Oh yeah, the acrylic blanks? Uh, yeah, because I'd never done these before either until you got me addicted to them. And then you were like, oh, yeah. Let me teach you how to do keychains. And then you were like, oh, yep. let me teach you what jump rings are. And then, oh, let me show you what floofs are. And then, oh, have you seen the lady on TikTok who does the beads? <laughs> and then you're like, oh, hey, by the way, you need stretchy string that makes you look like an archery goddess. Look at that go. I'm like, <laughs> all right. Um, and then you were like, oh, you won't believe these, these beautiful charms that I found on Amazon. And... You know, you're going to need more jump rings, so you've got to get the bigger pack. Uh, yeah, like that, Cass? Yeah, we're pretty bad influences on each we other. We are super bad influences on each other. Because how many molds do you have now, thanks to me? Oh, my gosh. Too many. I mean, but really, is there such thing as too many? I feel like mm -hmm. no. There is. I mean, they, they still could fit in the containers, so I feel like no. So, um, we're discussing shelving for the she shed. Um, oh. and one of the issues that we're having with it is that I have so many molds and so much glitter that the shelving has to be pretty specific to, um, to hold all of it. So, oh yeah. Yeah. But I also believe that, you know, you have to be able to, um, you, you honestly just have to be able to make it work somehow, right? Yep, you just kind of have to. All right, so what I'm doing right now, guys, I just took the UV resin and I put a little glitter in there. You notice I'm wearing my PPE, always yes, wear your PPE, so super important. Always. You don't have to use a huge respirator um, for... UV, the UV resin, mm -hmm. but it is nice to have an open window or something. You're going to yes. need your UV you light. Well ventilated. All right, so we're going to throw some, throw some bow on here. I'm using a popsicle stick because I left my, um, my silicone tools in the workshop today. Oh no. And I was doing some some work on a tray that needed a little bit of detail, detail work on it. And I thought, I, I swear, I thought I had another, another whole uh, set, but I can't seem to find it. So I'm going to have to get a set for upstairs and a set for downstairs. Yes. I know you can't see that sparkle and shine from where you are, Cass, mm -hmm. but look at my man go. He is the best. Lily and Rose bow 
is one of my favorites. Curtis is my go-to. He's a chunky opal. I love the opals. But they definitely go well together. They do. They do. Just like those stained glass ones we made with, uh, with the two boys. Yes. Yes. All right. So make sure I don't get UV resin in my... Yes. Don't do it in the hole. Don't do it in the hole. Now, see, that just sounds bad. So I did. I didn't want to say that out yeah, loud. That really. Yeah, sounded naughty. Yeah, it, it did sound kind of kind of naughty there. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm glad I'm I'm you know just seriously glad that you you recognize that. <laughs> oh, I'm teasing. All right, looks good. Now we here. I'm gonna blind you by the light. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's see what happens here. See if I can make some magic. Cool thing about this UV light. This one is um this is 260 volt UV lamps watt. No, 60 watt. I I can't. Wow. I don't know. It's it's big. Yeah, like running, your husband running went a bit joke. overboard. Yeah, it's it's completely a running joke between us because um, my husband likes to buy me industrial things um, yes. for craft projects, and I I don't know why he that's appropriate, but this is where we are, and hey. so this is what happens. It, I have this it cute works. little. And confetti, it's so cute. I'm gonna do some little heart confetti here. You know, what? it feels kind of like um, it feels kind of like little erasers. Does it? It does actually. It feels it feels like little erasers. Um, Look at this one. <gasps> this is Keikoa. I know is I it? said I would probably never use him, but he is actually very pretty. Right on. I'm going to turn this one into a little Valentine's -y. I'm, I'm super. I can, did I inspire you to Valentine? Mm hmm. Okay, I think I want to do this like a, like a cascade and not like all over. So let's see if I can maneuver some of this around before I put the UV resin on top of it. Come here, come here. You know you want to. You know what would be just like amazing right now? What? Tweezers. Tweezers would be- I have tweezers. Yeah, but, but you're like, like, it's just like 400 miles away. Um, yeah, it's a little ways. Just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. Yeah. 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 Okay, so that little red one doesn't go right there. It needs to have a little pink one or something. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, nope, too much. Too much. I was thinking about, um, you know, Valentine's Day is right around the corner. It's like, what, Tomorrow? two days away? Tomorrow. Oh, it's tomorrow. Yeah. So never mind. Uh, need to start thinking about St. Patrick's Day Saint and all the Patty's fun things Day. all we can do for that. Nice and green. Yes. And, yes. and then Easter after that, all the springy colors. Love spring colors. But you know, yeah. um, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree is already putting out all the fun and exciting stuff for uh, St. Patty's and for Easter. Yes. I did get a few things for Easter. I cannot find the word love. Um, because I knew that all of these quarantine crafters would buy it all up before I could. That's funny. Um, I, I love how you're like quarantine crafters and Cassie, that's exactly what we are. We are quarantine <laughs> crafters. Yeah, except I have to go to work every day still. This is true. I stay home and craft all day. Oh, I don't get to stay home and craft all day either. I do get to stay home, but I don't get to craft all day. So I really look no, forward to our time you, together. 
you have children who need your attention and I just have dogs, which I don't know which is worse, honestly. I can actually um, hear one of them at the door whining because he wants in. It's like, I want to play, Mom. Let me play. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah, mine, mine are pretty, uh, mine are pretty um, busy. My days are pretty busy with all this virtual yes. school and uh, stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, it, it's been a pretty rough year. Aw, oh, thanks, You know, it, it's been a pretty rough year for a lot of people, so and I totally yes. get why they want to de-stress and craft and just oh, hang absolutely. out. Crafting is definitely a de-stressor. It's so relaxing just to sit here and just create and just have fun. All right, so no, oh, it fell off the side. Okay, so my dome has my dome has fallen. Uh oh, my dome has fallen. Come back up, dome. Don't fall. Don't fall. I was doing so well too. It it was really, really. Yeah. Yeah. It was. Ooh, that was really loud. Sorry. Thank, thank goodness it's just, you know, uh, clear. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Too bad. Not too bad. Maybe I can just use the X-Acto knife to clean up that little edge right there. That's going to happen here once I turn on the UV. We're going to make sure everything's covered, though. It, it decided it wanted to slip a little bit. But it's still well, very it pink. It's still very pink and pretty. Very well, Valentine. Super, super Valentine. Whoa, that's a light. That's a light. That's bright. <laughs> that's super bright. I don't know if that's going to come over now that it dripped off the side. Oh, that's right. I clean it up with the exacto knife. It's very forgiving. Yes. Wow. Bing. Are we done? Ooh, it's warm. We're done. Definitely need the exacto knife though. Oh man. Clean that, clean that up a little bit. That's all right. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Mind doing a little cleanup work. See? Super, super fast cleanup. Oh my goodness, where did the hour go? Has it already been an hour? It's already been an hour. See, this is why you need a crafting buddy, because look what we accomplished tonight. Oh my gosh, I'm just about ready to finish up another one, but yeah, our hour is just about up, Cass. That Show me what you crazy. made. So I did a little cow one. I love this little black and white heart one. Aww. I did these three. Nice. Oh. I got I got three done. That's what I got. And then I'm just putting the charm on this one. Love it. Love it. Right on. So I guess. Um, I guess that's going to be it for us today because our, our hour is yeah. just about up. Oh, man. That went super fast. This is why you Whoa. need a crafting buddy because look at what you can accomplish. Just one on somebody. one. Right? Yeah. Just hanging out. So um, we will have a list of all the supplies that you need to do this craft. Uh, this yes. podcast is called... What did we call it? Um, Be welcome beads and blanks. Beads and blanks. Welcome beads and blanks. That's what we are. Uh, okay. And then we I will have everyone. all of the suppliers listed in our Facebook page also. 
Um, it's called She Said, She Sh or She Shed and She Said Crafting on Facebook. Go ahead and look us up. All right, everyone. Have an amazing night. Thanks for hanging yes. out with us. And we hope to see you next week. What are we doing next week, Cass? Next week, we are making signs. Dollar Store Craft. Dollar Store Craft. Right on. Love yes. me some Dollar Store Craft. All, All right. right. I love you, Miss Dory. I love you, Miss Cassie. I'll see you Good next night. week, okay? Good night. Yes, absolutely. Thanks for hanging out with me. Yep. Bye. Bye.